So the very first thing that you need to know is uh, during uh, electroplating, eh, okay, the object that you want to electroplate is uh, it must be attached to the cathodes eh, so that it can attract ions uh, of metals because uh, we want to electroplate it with metals eh, so that it can attract the ion of metal because cathode is negative. Eh, is negative then it can attract the positive ions uh, of metals and then it will uh, discharge the metals then the metal will deposit on the surface then uh, it's electroplate it is the electroplate with that metals another thing uh, that you need to know is uh, the copper ions okay after they deposit on the surface of uh, this is the key uh, okay so this electrolyte it will run out of copper ions soon right so when the ions stick here, then there will be no more copper ions here, right? So therefore, we must have a, a supply of uh, copper from other source. If you just have this electrolyte, eh, the copper from the electrolytes eh, will stick on the surface of this metal, yes, but then it can run out very fast. Eh? It, can, it can finish very fast. So we must have another source that uh, they supply copper or copper ions. Eh? That is the copper electrodes the copper electrodes huh? now if you still remember copper is an active electrodes active electrode means that it would take part in the chemical reactions okay so in this case a uh, sulfate and hydroxide sulfate and hydroxide will go to the anode right uh, sulfur and hydroxide it will go to the uh, anode huh? but neither the hydroxide nor the sulfate Will be discharged both of these will not be discharged but instead the couple metals itself uh, so the couple metals itself uh, it will be ionized to form copper ions uh, okay by releasing electrons so that's what happens around a nodes uh, okay so a nodes uh they won't discharge sulfate they won't discharge hydroxide but the atoms uh, Okay, the atoms inside these electrodes uh, will be ionized to become uh, copper ions. Okay, the copper ions and by releasing electrons. Therefore, uh, what happens is the copper ions, uh, the anode will supply the copper ions. Uh, the anodes from atoms, uh, it will become copper ion. It will give copper ions to the electrolyte. Okay, it will give copper ions to the electrolytes. And this copper ion will be attracted to the cathodes and then it will be discharged there and then uh, it will uh, deposit on the surface of this uh, object here okay and that's how electroplating occurs so you must know which one is cathodes which one is a node and you must know the chemical reactions that occurs okay. a cathode copper ion become copper metals uh, but an a node copper metals become copper ions copper ions is uh, released to the electrolyte and then it will deposit on the uh, object here so uh, so the copper electrode will become thinner yes okay yes because the copper atoms will form copper ions uh, so then it will become thinner